Nintendo. Intelligent systems. Curtains. Today. I'm going to tell you the story of star spirits and good wishes. Far, far away beyond the sky. Way above the clouds. It's been said that there's a haven where stars live. In the sanctuary of Star Haven, the arrest a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Using this wondrous Star Rod, the seven revered star spirits watched over our peaceful world. Carefully. Very carefully. And then... Oh dear, what the... Who stuck that weird thing into this story? Ha ha ha! Yeah, I did! Ha 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 ha! So I can at long last beat my arch enemy Mario. I'll take this star rod. Do it, Kami Koba! Ah, weird magic power, go! No, you mustn't do that! Don't do that! Yeah! Now let's try using it! Stop it! Cut it out, Bowser! No! We did it! That was a piece of cake! Now Star's kids may rise to the table and deliver people's wishes, but those wishes will not come true. Whatever can they do? Hey guys, what is up? It is the GameCube Buster. Welcome to a game that is not on the GameCube, but the Nintendo 64. This is Paper Mario. The first Paper Mario at that. Now, why am I coming to play this game? I know you're just itching to find out, right? It's because I is another challenge playthrough I want to do on my YouTube channel. So, you probably already know me for playing um, TTYD. And there's the man of the hour himself, there's Power Carry. You're gonna switch out for a bomb that we're never gonna use because she sucks, but whatever, that's not the point. I plan on doing a partner playthrough. Is it one partner? I'm gonna use the entire game? No, I'm not that crazy. I'm gonna be using Mario 2. It's going to be called a single partner playthrough. And what that means is that I am going to be using only one partner the entire way through the game. And it's going to be a tough thing, I'm willing to bet, because I'm not very good at 64. There, I said it. I'm actually much, much better at TTYD than I am over 64. And you're likely going to see that a lot because there's a lot of things in TTYD that aren't in 64. Obviously, that game came afterwards. Like, there's no super guarding. Partners are more limited in what they can do. There's a lot of things that are different in this game, and it's going to be, like, night and day when we actually get into playing it. I'm going to struggle a lot. I can already guarantee that. And you guys are probably going to really enjoy seeing me struggle as I do, because what's not fun about failure? Unless it's, like, something you actively want to see me played well, which, considering that this is a challenge run, you're probably going to be expecting that. But since this is also my first challenge run in 64, I think you can also expect to see some failure. If my level 0 scavenge playthrough for TTYD was any indication, is that my first challenge playthroughs are probably going to be the most entertaining. Or at least the most... Um... Full of failure. Because F, he only really didn't have much of that at all. Um... But yeah, this first episode is obviously not going to really be focused on any kind of game, um, little challenge. It's just getting started, and the first few episodes will probably be kind of dry of that too, but whatever. I just let this intro play out so you guys had something to watch as I rambled. Okay, let's get this started. I already had a playthrough, and yeah, there's my name, as if you didn't already know it before. Well, um, hmm. I wonder what I should I, what should I title this file? I haven't thought about this. There's only eight characters, which is awkwardly enough less than one than my well name would probably have been. 
I'll, I'll think about this for a second. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know. Airtime because the show's about to start. I don't know. Anyway, let's let's get this started. First play. Yes, let's start. And there he is. Do you really expect me to read everything here? Probably not. But. You can read. I know one thing for certain. My fans are not idiots. They can read on their own. I know they can. So I'm just going to let you guys read it as it comes up. It's not that I'm totally lazy. I just, I just really want you guys to use your brains. Because you guys can do it. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Princess Peach. I don't like Peach. And I don't like the Peach because Peach sucks. And the fruit that she's named after sucks too. Peach is actually kind of sour from what I can tell. They taste sour, at least. I, li I like peach. I don't like peaches. I like lemons. Lemons are my favorite fruit. Or maybe there'll be oranges. I, I like apples a bit, too. No, I'm actually more of a fan of oranges. What am I, what am I talking about? L fruits for... God dang it. We're playing Paper Mario, not Fruit Parfait Simulator 101. I don't even know if that exists. Uh, whatever. Anyway, we don't care about this party. We care about Peach for whatever reason. So let's just go to her. Oh, the music gets more low here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? What am I doing? You can just press to hold the B button and it just gives you the text like that. I don't care to read all of this. Why did TT Wade not carry that over? Heck if I know. Oh, are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? Oh, my. Look, Mario, it's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. Bah! Like a buster, he just broke through the window. Long time no see, Princess Peach. Bowser, but this can't be. It was you who made the ground shake nest now, wasn't it? What ever did you do? <laughs> yeah, that was me. I lived up your castle under the sky. It's sitting in my castle now. Weren't expecting that, huh? Ha! This castle's in my control now, my dear. Now you will obey me! Oh, no you don't. Huh? What? It's Mario! What a shock! Ha! Not really. I expected you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you just give up already? True, true, I've had my problems in the past, but this time is different. This time I'm gonna win! Okay, tough guy, let's go! I, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> let's get this start. Mario, you can do it. Okay, dokie! Yeah, we only can use strategies, items, and jump, but we can't select these now, so... Plumber Ahoy, jump on the Koopa. Scratch. Bonk. Scratch. Bonk. Good old Mario, always fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attempts won't beat me. Let's take a look at this. Look what I stole from Kirby. It's the Star Rod. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world and conquer nightmares. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. I'm so bad at being a villain, I have to cheat. <laughs> How do you like that, Mario? <laughs> Yes, oh yes, 
yes, I did it! I finally did it! Might beat my old rival Mario! Yes! Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That's why you're the king. As long as I have this star rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Dario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. Taking out the trash. In the vast darkness that is space, no one can hear you scream, especially if you're already dead. Farewell, Mario. For now, and forever. <laughs>